Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Brand. you can also call me Alco. And in this video, we are gonna go through a really cool post that one of my friends had found on Facebook about different animal x-rays from the Oregon Zoo. And I'm actually really excited about this post. I haven't even peeked at it yet. I'm gonna mirror my computer and I'm gonna have it in the top screen over here. <laughs> I hate how it's always flipped um, when I actually put it on the computer. But anyways, we're gonna get started and we're gonna film my reaction and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> okay, so first thing is um, the post is on a, I think a blogging site called My Modern Met, M-E-T, and it's under home and animals and it's a 15 fascinating animal x-rays from the Oregon Zoo. And the first picture it shows right off the bat is a skeleton of a snake. Which kind of stick? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay. This is weird how this page is kind of laid out. A lot of ads, really annoying. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, it's not really telling me what kind of animals these are, but it's actually on the bottom. So, end of the picture here. Um, so, this picture is actually really cool. It's of a toko toucan, um, and the beak. It almost looks kind of fractured or broken because um, there's so many like different cracks on it. It's kind of cool. And then the eyeball's freaking huge. Holy. That's kind of cool. Um, next one was an American beaver. Oh. Okay. Huh. <laughs> and it's just an extra of their tail. Um, and it's actually kind of cool because they have one long spine, but then the rest of the beaver tail is does not have any, I guess, bones in it. It's just tissue. That's interesting. Oh, okay. And then that gives us a little foot of a tiger. <laughs> a more tiger. It kind of actually it looks like a dog. <laughs> I thought it was Apollo's <laughs> freaking paw for, for a moment. Because it kind of looks the same. <gasps> this one's the cool one. Okay. So this picture is a Miller's or Meller's chameleon. Um, I believe they're found in Africa. I'm not 100% sure. I have done too much research. Just recently saw it, one of my chameleon posts on a Facebook group uh, that I'm in. Um, but it's so cool. You can see the arms and the legs and the tail and the little vertebrae. Oh, that was really cool. I really like this one. Um, and one kind of cool, fascinating fact about chameleon x-rays, or I guess their bones, is that they do still glow under black light once they are deceased. So that's really cool. There's a whole other story um, and I guess research behind that. Maybe I'll film another video on that in the future, but it's really cool that a lot of reptiles, if you shine a black light on them, um, different parts of their bodies glow, which is pretty, cool, pretty fascinating to be honest. The freaking fruit bat looks terrifying. Oh my lord. Like, I think the most terrifying thing about the fruit bat is the face. Because it literally looks like it's from a horror movie. Oh my lord. That's probably where they found, um, or they created the gargoyles. Because it definitely looks like a gargoyle. What is this? Oh. So this next x-ray is a bottom <laughs> the bottom half of a golden eagle. <laughs> it's funny because they don't really show the full x-rays, which is kind of weird. But um, it really just shows the, um, the legs of the golden eagle. You can kind of see a little bit of the feathers and where the feathers start off. And it is a little behind, a little booty. <laughs> um, kind of looks like a chicken leg. <laughs> Except for the towns, they're huge, they're humongous. Like, holy shit, you do not want to be cut by those. What? Okay. Oh. This next one is a porcupine. A cape porcupine. It's terrifying. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This looks like freaking one of those huge rats off a of fallout. Ah. Oh. 
Or something like prehistoric. That's scary. Holy shit. Okay, I would not think a porcupine skeleton is like that. I didn't even know they had teeth like that. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, I like this one. A fat-tailed gecko. <laughs> kind of like my leopard gecko. Very similar. Very similar, but not quite. Oh, you see his little toes. Look at those little toes. And the tail. Oh, that's so cool how their tail kind of comes up like that on on an x-ray. Oh, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh no, oh no. Oh, okay, we're good. We are good. Um, and then they take an x-ray of some flamingo legs that are very skinny, very skinny legs. Is that another porcupine? Oh no, it's a hedgehog! <gasps> Some of you guys might like this one. <laughs> it's actually very terrifying as well. I didn't realize, haven't put too much thought into it, how skeletons and x-rays of animals are actually kind of creepy looking. <laughs> sorry if this scares you. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, oh my God, yeah. I wonder what that dot is. Can anyone tell me? I have no idea. No idea. Oh, chicken. Oh, screech owl. I actually don't know what a screech owl looks like. I'm gonna look it up though. Oh, kind of looks like my, like a barn owl. Oh, hmm. they're kind of cute. I like owls. But I think that might be like a baby owl. I have no idea. It's like looks, I don't know. For me, I think it might look a little small. Like a little birdie. Oh, anteater. Oh, Tamadua. Tamandua. I think that's an ant eater. It looks like an ant eater. Could be wrong. No idea. It's so nice. Dwarf mongoose. Okay. Right. Is that a little, a little seven and eight right there? Right there. Could be a kidney. Who knows? Okay. Oh, wolf eel. I feel like the wolf eel looks like something you'd find in like the deep blue sea. <laughs> I don't know, but that's kind of creepy looking. I don't know, fish, I don't know, like, fish x-rays are kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of cool how they have all this, like, all these little tiny bones in them, and it shows up on the x-ray. I find, like, the faces, like, the skeleton faces are actually, like, really creepy looking. But anyways, that is it for <laughs> the x-ray. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I know this was kind of a little bit of a silly video, um, but I did want to do this video with you because I thought it would be kind of cool to look at 15 fascinating animal x-rays from a zoo um, just because they have more uh, more resources than some other places do. And so it's really kind of cool to take a look inside of what some of these cool animals may look like. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you did like this. Thank you.